Santa Cruz uh, 37 is based on uh, a philosophy of uh, making going fast fun. So fast is fun and that's uh, what Santa Cruz stands for. First of all, you need a very light boat, uh, you need a powerful rig, uh, and you need a, you need a deep kill with a lot of weight in it. What we were looking for, myself and the crew, was something we could race in class zero. And that's something that was going to be a step up in performance on the 109 that we've been racing until now. We bought it to, to use as a racer, taking away the idea of having doors to the two aft cabins. It's quite useful, it makes a lot more useful space for sales and things while, uh, while racing the boat. A twin helm, lifting a uh, uh, rudder, you have to uh, look at it as a kind of uh, daggerboard system. Uh, but uh, very easy to handle and uh, easy to pull up uh, if you are in shallow waters. We use carbon as a, as a new material, which is very light, less than uh, 4,000 kilograms, and uh, this boat will go fast. I like the interior down below from a racing point of view. Well, I guess it'd be quite comfortable to take the family out for uh, uh, around the island race or for, for, for a weekend. Especially in our climate, to when you're uh, spending some time inside in a harbour, that you uh, are sitting in a nice surrounding. And, uh, uh, also, if you are uh, cruising, you, you need to do everything uh, you have on a normal cruising boat. There's a lot of boats in that sort of 40 foot range um, in class one, class zero at the moment. It seemed to offer all the technology, the carbon um, hull, uh, carbon mast, carbon boom, small size, affordable, and be a lightweight, high performance boat rather than necessarily an IRC lint line. So uh, it, it, it went through in the end on a combination of price and looked exciting.